Hello everyone and welcome back to your YouTube channel and welcome to this very short and informative video. Perhaps this video will be helpful for many of you. However, this video is dedicated to my collaborators. Some of my students and collaborators, they are writing uh, scientific papers for the IEEE conferences. So it's very important that you make your life easy regarding the format of your manuscript. For that reason, the main motivation behind this video today is to show you the use of Microsoft styles in order to make your life easy. I know that several of my colleagues, they love to use uh, LaTeX. However, my personal opinion is that when you are working in a large team, using a format that can be shared between a lot of people is far beyond LaTeX. So for that reason, today we are talking about the manuscript template for conference proceedings from IEEE, but using Microsoft Office. Okay, let's go to the details. As you can see over here, this is the formal or the official website from the IEEE for the manuscript templates for conference proceedings, okay? As you can see over here, they are, um, they are templates for Microsoft Word. And as I say before, some of my colleagues, they love LaTeX, they can use it. Uh, however, today this video is dedicated for Microsoft Word and I will be using this template from January 2019, okay? What I will do is the following. I will open in Microsoft Word this template and we will discuss some aspects of this template directly on Microsoft Word, okay? As you can see over here, I opened the document. The document is conference template A4. And as you can see here, let me do this. What I want to show you is this is the general template, okay? I highly suggest that you read this before I start to write your paper because reading this document is making your life easy and also the reviewers like me, okay? There is a section over here that say using the template and very important uh, related to the he uh, headings and also the styles, okay? I highly suggest that you read that, but I will go through very fast about this, okay? Um, as you can see over here at the top of Microsoft Word, you can see this is more area. You can expand the area and that is basically the area for the styles, okay? You can add here more styles coming from the uh, template or you can remove some uh, template, uh, some, uh, some style from there, okay? What I want to show you is, let me see here, Every time that you highlight or select some text, you can see here the style name, okay? And the idea of this very simple exercise is to show you, for instance, this is the style, this is the style that is used for the paper title, okay? I saw many people that they use normal and then they try to modify the size in order to look similar and so on that is totally totally grown okay what you need to use is the pa uh, paper title style and that is the proper way to do it because every single part inside the paper has a very specific predefined style for instance here you can see the authors or if you go below to the abstract section you will see here the style or if you go to the body, and this is extremely important, you can see here the style that is used for the body text, okay? I am making this observation because when you are using Microsoft Word and you press enter, automatically Microsoft Word is using normal style. And then the student start to write the paper and when they finish, Oh, they start to make changes here and there and so on and try to make the things look like the style that should be. 
And the optimal way to do this is going here and use your body tats, okay? Body tats. And now you can see how the font size, the, 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 the I mean, all the characteristics, the line and the para uh, paragraph spacing, everything is adapted to the template, okay? This will make your life easy and also make my life easy, okay? For instance, the headings for the main subsections, you can see over here, this is heading one. And if you have a subsection, you can see he uh, heading two. And if you have a third heading, let me see if there is one somewhere here. Let me see, we have heading A, B, C. Where is number one? Let me see here is this is heading four and so on. Okay. What I suggest is be familiar, be familiar by yourself with those headings over there. Okay. Also very important tables. Please use table head as the style for the table captions because automatically you will receive the enumeration. And also for the figures, please use the figure caption, okay? Because automatically Microsoft will give you this figure number one. So it's very important that you use the styles in order to keep the format, okay? Finally here, you can see the style for the references, okay? Please try to use the template in a proper way. Well, this is a very interesting video, okay? As you can see over here, I emphasize, I make a lot of effort to explain how important is the format of the paper. But this doesn't mean that the most important aspect is the format. I mean, you can present a very bad idea in a very good way and you will not get published. But also, if you have a brilliant idea and you present in a very grown format that idea, you will get rejection. So please try to use the proper format and use brilliant ideas and you will produce brilliant papers, okay? That is the idea behind this. Well, mm, this is the end for this video. In the next videos, I will be making more comments about some other aspect to make your papers look better, but also to, make, to improve the quality of your papers. Thank you very much for watching this video and I will see you at the next one. Bye now.